Okay, continuing on my little Fawn in Love with the Gazelle series I've had going this month, I'm going to round it out by having a go of the HOT-3 missiles, these four on the racks here. I'll be deploying them from the co-pilot seat. All looks pretty straightforward. I've got another little mission uh, put together that I'm going to test it out with. A bit of a continuation on the previous video uh, where our power plant got hit to the northeast and the border as well, the border checkpoint in our airfield. So hit on several fronts. We've tracked some insurgents down to this target area, this uh, factory complex, where we are going to be uh, flying out with a couple of Hueys. Uh, they're going to assault an airborne assault onto the target area. They're going to hold, first of all, just to the north of the airfield. And I'm going to continue on to this observation point where I'm going to overlook the target and take out any uh, heavy ordnance I see, any major threats. And we've also got a convoy coming in from the east, which I'll call in the Hueys and the convoy uh, when I give the all clear. So that is the mission. Let's jump in and get started. So there are our Hueys waiting. And got the squads moving in. So let's get ourselves sorted. those well old troops although these ones in the other squad need some uh discipline 20 seconds and the other on the move there's the tv screen that we'll be using Quad boarded, and those guys will be in there very soon. Let's close canopy, I mean, close the doors. There's the missiles on the side here. Very neat. Let's get some fuel in. We're starting up on time as well. I've also rebound my, well, not rebound, actually adjusted my pedals physically and added some more tension which I thought would cause more sticking because my pedals have been getting very stuck when I make movements and stop and yeah I think I can get a lot more fine movement now which is exciting now I've added more tension which doesn't really make sense I thought you'd loosen tension to have it more free but there you go not sure which is my blades and which is the Huey's blades All mixed in there. Okay, fuel on, blades spinning, looking good. The alignment on, and we'll jump across to the TV screen here. Let's just uncage these. Hey, okay, co-pilot. Put it on the radio one. So we want TV screen on. We want the VCB powered on. IR on. VCB mode. We'll just go B for now. Oh, they're up. So we'll meet them in the air. And what else? Give me the TV screen, I think. So I've got to open that up. There we go. Might just take a little while to warm up. I think that's the position you put in to... Okay, that's stowed. Fair enough. Good to know. And then you put it to the other one to take it out of the stow position. Uh, lights are out. We are good to go. I'm going to push up straight to waypoint 2. This is our holding point. It's a shame we can't put the waypoints on here. I might keep it on this view. So 
my waypoints about where my cursor is at the moment. Uh, everything's on, autopilot switches on. We're good to take off. All right, let's test these new pedal settings out. Yeah, there we go. Much nicer. Steady on. And now, look at that. I can do a lot finer movements. That's terrific. Can't believe I put up with it so long. <laughs> All right, let's just head out, catch up to the Hueys. Head out that way first, away from the trees. Yeah, that's beautiful. That was the one thing I was having trouble with with the gazelle is uh, the pedal movement, and that's helped a great deal. Okay, through to the transition. Let's head northwest. And quickly get the countermeasures on. Actually, I read you can take that starter off now. It was taking the engine off when you did that in the past, but... I can see the Hueys up ahead of me. Yep, they're already holding, so it's going to be a short flight. Get the speed up. Yeah, I'm absolutely... Oh, let's put our pilot on, maybe. Crazy. Pressing the wrong switches. There he is. That's better. Um, yeah, I can't believe how much I've fallen in love with this chopper. I used it a little bit when it first came out, but I never, never sunk my teeth into it. And even with the old flight model, I think I would have used it a lot more. Uh, I've given it a bit more time, but uh, right now I'm having as much fun in this as I would in one of those things up ahead of me. Which is a huge call, because I absolutely love my Huey. They, they might want to get down a little bit more. we we'll give away our attack here. Yeah, a bit more in. Still got a little bit to go here. Might as well put my master arm on. Okay, let's jump across. Actually, master arm up here. And then weapon station we want. Let's unstow it. I'll put it to standby at least. That to on. Collect weapons. Okay, that's the tree line up to my like one o'clock here. So now start slowing down. Look at the water, there must be a bit of a hill here. I wasn't expecting that, but it was all flat. It's 
Hold on down. Stuck across these trees, stay in a bit more cover. And I'm going to jump across to co pilot here. And take that out of standby. Yeah, here we go. Now, we tested out the auto hover, but it's been trying to kill me most of the time. Seems to hold and then have a little hissy fit and throw me about, so I'm going to try to do this manually. Yeah, yeah, just got to find where this... Yeah, it's looking downhill, isn't it? Very interesting. That might be it on my one o'clock there. It's the trees, there's a little, oh, a little opening. Yeah, we'll get our cursor looking down that way. And go. See what we can see. A bit of a stop here. Okay. <laughs> it's even a bit of a more of a death laid lock on the entrance to the um, factory there as well. I've got to get a bit more height. It's funny I put together this mission, but that's kind of thrown me. I thought this is all flat terrain. Okay, let's see. Oh, we've got two... Infantry on top of the roof of one building. Let's not get too high. Right, come to the steady hover. It really drops on you sometimes. You've got to be careful. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's a man pad. So you've got one man pad on the roof. The vehicles in the foreground. Armor on the right hand side. Oh, truck's moving in. A couple of technicals on the left side. Get our heads down before they spot us. How about we engage this uh, man pad on the roof. So, lays and weapon cover open. The range in. 3760 which is pretty long. 43 is the range. We've got a wire in front of it. Just gonna slowly come back a bit here. Getting a bit too close to these trees for my whacking. We've got some trees, I mean some trucks moving in. I think we'll start engaging. It's a bit, that's better. Didn't want to get too close to those trees. All right, here we go. So I have good lock on now. One more lays and rifle. Oof, geez, that went down to the ground. Almost. I'm on target. Drifting a bit with my chopper here. That's okay. And guide it in. Oh, good hit. Alright, let's not... Oh, they're on the move. Let's hit this armour. Lays and rifle. So I just changed my weapon selector. Oh, good hit. Oh, gosh, this is fun. 
Bingo lays fire. Getting a bit unsteady with my hover here. Let's settle down a bit. Come down a bit. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a cursor. Oh. And lucky last. Rifle. Right, keep height. All right, four missiles, four hits. Still got some trucks up. And man pads down. Armors down. All right, let's call in the cavalry. Commencing assault. So let's fly a bit of overwatch here. We'll keep our distance. Oh, yeah, they're, they're outstanding. Now, you've got the periscope Skype, which I haven't... Day, but you can use the periscope side as well to do the same thing as which I just did then. Wait, you see the camera on this side. Oh, get a little bit of height. Here we should be heading in now. Let's have a look at these. They open, yeah. They Good firing, good firing, sir. Let's keep our distance in case there's any more man pads down there. Huey's back there coming in. Negative. Hopefully they're coming. Oh, we've got a truck sitting out there by itself. Now I see the infantry around there and I see a convoy up further. That would be our convoy heading in to clean up. Need the Hueys to show up. Hopefully they haven't hit each other. I'm sure they're all coming. Yeah, well, they're really, really simple to deploy. And quite stable. I'm really enjoying the fact that I've sorted my pedals out. That's going to help me with the Huey as well. I'm only taking like a deck. Oh, there they are. I see him. Oh, this is terrific. And they come. Convoy on the charge too. Oh, this is working out perfectly. I may have just had an extra spot for a machine gun as well. Oh, they're taking a bit of fire. Careful lads, careful. Try not to overfly the target. Oh, what are you guys doing? Laying some of your own fire down. Yep, they're shooting now. Just, oh, good grief. It's terrible tactics. This guy is just. He's flying any slower. Oh, 
Uh, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Maybe I can get in there and take a bit of fire myself. Oh yeah, he's getting shot to pieces. Not sure if he's actually laying out fire. Might be. Oh, these ones are. Yep. Oh, the convoy's coming in. Oh, I just got shot. It's okay. If they're not shooting at me, they're not shooting at the other guys. Come on, get down. Get, drop those troops. Oh, almost hit my own chopper. Yep, troops are deployed. Go get them, lads. Convoy's coming in. Oh, these other Hueys. A bit lackluster. These should be on the ground by now. Okay, a couple of Humvees and... BMP moving in. Oh, these guys are not moving up. They really need to attack. Press forward. Oh, yeah, they've lost one. One's, one's wounded. Another guy sitting back here behind. Oh, we've only had a gunner in the back as well. I have to say, it's going to be a bit of a talking to this chopper. This second chopper that just, it's taken an age to put down. Oh, he left the wounded. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've taken the wounded back with you. Why they're not pressing the attack. Yep, they're on the move now. Let's keep this guy distracted, he's looking at me. There's only this one troop at the back left now. Get in there boys, get in there. This uh, other uh, BMP is just like it was just shooting everything in sight. Bit devastating. Got to get the rescue chopper in. These other two are bugging out for some reason. Here we go. Let's see if they get him. Yep, they've got him. All done. They're taking the truck. Like they've secured the factory. Um, except for the two lost uh, soldiers on that insert. Pretty solid attack. Um, well, we've got a med kit there, maybe we can put down. Drop off the med kit before we head back to base. Yeah, wow. Amazing what a difference that makes. Very smooth now. There we go. Oh, bit of a bounce as always. Alright, we'll drop that medkit deck off. Oh, it's still happening over there. 
But yeah, that was a pretty effective um, stool zoomed in on that truck there. It was a pretty, very, pretty effective um, test of those weapons. Um, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving this chopper. All right, I'm going to quickly head back to base just to finish off. Um, bit disappointed they didn't pick up these troops and take them back with them, but let's go with there. Going to be fine because they've got medical attention now. Let's get back in the air. Whoa. Yeah, I'll do a quick run back to base, put down. I shall meet everyone back there. Yeah, just come back in the runway now. You can see the smoke in the distance off there. That's the power plant still smoldering. Cut across to our landing zone. Some damaged buildings here from our mortar attack. Uh, so the Hueys are back as well, they have landed. there would have uh, stayed around to cut the troops but it's okay came in a bit hot there it's going to be a dangerous put down yeah that was a little hot it's not a crash at the end of it Still not quite up to speed as I am with the Huey and it uh, limits this chopper. Do some crazy maneuvers. Okay. Try to put it down without bouncing this time. Always unexpected that actual when the skids hit, doesn't doesn't uh, not, not ready for it or to the hits when I'm not expecting to or too far away when I'm expecting to hit. Anyway, well done. Uh, we should have taken our master arm off. That would have been smarter before we came in. So we can turn our screens off. Um, and off would have been wiser, although we've got nothing left to shoot. Theirs could have came off. Alright, well, I hope that was enjoyable. Uh, it's a lot of fun, like I said, to fly. You see the camera there moving in the back. It's been stowed. Very cool. And yeah, I'll definitely be doing some more uh, flying the gazelle in the future. Um, but yeah, I'll start having a look at a few other. Uh, things next few videos and yeah I really enjoyed the little time I spent with it uh, highly recommend this module now it's absolutely ruined and a lot of fun <laughs>